off-the-shelf coring device. We pulled this out of the box. We took the cover off. We stuck it in the tank. It's operating. Can everybody hear the fans? Right? Right now it tells me I've got one and what about one amp at 48 volts flowing through here. So the question is, is would you pour a liquid over an operating piece of electrical equipment? So my name's Gary Testa. I run a company called Engineer Fluids. We manufacture an amazing product called dielectric coolant. What you're about to witness is the way all electronics will be cooled in the next five years. Simply because it's the most efficient way. All computers that were designed originally were all liquid cooled because they were so hot you simply couldn't use air. What happened over time though is we got really efficient at making really small ICs that were capable of being air cooled. That's why we have all this noise. Everybody's been in a data center, right? What's the first thing you hear? You hear the fan, right? What's the second thing you notice? It's freezing cold. Why? Because we have to move a tremendous amount of air through all of these electronic devices. All of these heat sinks are there just to dissipate the heat. Now, everybody remember their uh, physics class? Air. We'll call that one. One cubic meter of air has a value of one for heat density. The liquid that's in this container is 1,600 times denser from a heat perspective. Now, water is the best conductor of heat from a fluid we have. It's over 2,000. It has one small drawback, though. Anybody want to pour water in here and stick their hand in it? I don't think so. Why? Water conducts electricity. The fluid that's in here actually is non-conductive to 60,000 volts over 5,000 amps. Okay, I want you to think about that. That's over a two millimeter gap. That means that I could take your industrial arc welder operating at over 25,000 volts, 5,000 amps, I could stick them into the fluid and stick my hand in there. Nothing will happen. Now, I don't have an arc welder with me today, but I do have Corian's device that they've been happy to allow me to demonstrate. So the, the question is, what's gonna happen when I pour this over the top of this? Can everybody hear that fan? Okay, the average data center generates about 89 decibels of fan noise. Sitting next to me in this device right here is an eight kilowatt data center. Do you know how much noise it's generating? Less than one dB, okay? Eight kilowatts. That's the equivalent of a standard 42U rack in most data centers today. All right, y'all came to see me pour this on top. Let's do it. It's optically clear. Has better refractive index than the gapping grease. I don't see anything happening. Hasn't shorted out yet. On most devices, we remove the fan. Why? The fans use 20% of the power. Imagine that. 20% of your device's power is the fan. If I get rid of the fan, I just got 20% cost reduction in your TCO. Everybody hear the fan? Hear the fan? Hear the fan? Where's the fan? Fans are working just fine. They just don't make any noise when they're under fluid. Let's put a little more in there just to make it interesting. Everybody see the bubbles? The fans are still working, right? We'll throw some fish in. That's a great idea. We'll do that next. Would you do this at home? We have folks that actually put their bit miners in their bathtub filled with our fluid. Do you know what the primary reason is? Because their wives don't like all the fan noise. That, it's incredibly efficient from a heat perspective. So there you go, you have an operating device. 48 volts, gentlemen, correct? Yes. Right? 48 volts. 
Okay, everybody see these? These are, we've not done this before. This will be fun. So these are little kids' toys, battery operated. I don't know, is it moving around? Huh, it's blinking. There you go. Little battery operated gizmos. Oh, I stuck my hand in. Oh. Wait a second, I'm still here. Right? Think about that. A little slipperier than water. The viscosity here is slightly thicker. Slightly thicker than water. Now, the question is, is, is it still working? I don't know, let's pick it up, find out. Oh, there's our fans. To be honest, the, the amazing part about this, oh, we want to see if our ducky floats. Oh, that's the problem. They're designed for, for water, and water is actually, this is 80% the weight of water. Okay? So what that means is, is that it's lighter than water, it's less dense. The viscosity at room temperature is about twice that of water. I've had my hands in this stuff for the past year, I'm still here. Totally biodegradable, completely non-allergenic. Now, this is my favorite part, and I did this, I'm going to do this for free because when we were in Barcelona, I charged $100,000 for this next trip. Somebody bet me that it wasn't completely biodegradable and inert. So they said, would you drink some? I said, you know, for a $100,000 PO, I could be persuaded. Has no taste. Has no taste. What you're seeing is the future of cooling, folks. 3% of your cooled power. You cannot find a more efficient manner of cooling any electronic device. Even in a data center with free air cooling, the maintenance cost alone exceeds the operating cost of a fluid-filled environment. 